Hi guys and welcome back to Extreme Garage with me Lawrence. Finally we've got a little bit of better weather. It hasn't come without its damages. So I'll show you inside. This is what's happened. So you can see we have a nice, quite a thin, a thick, <laughs> quite a lot of water in the footwell. Which is annoying. It's come from through the dash. Now I've checked, I've checked the window. Uh, the window seal is not leaking from down there or from here. Well, uh, I don't know, a little bit of water showing on there. So it could be coming from through there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this panel off, have a look behind there, see if it's going in through the See if it's going in through one of the wires in the bonnet. So um, I'll take that apart and see if we can find where the water's coming from because I can't start it until I fix that. Because if it's on all the wires, the last thing I want to happen is uh, I end up shorting loads of wires and, and, and causing wires to get damaged under the, under the dash. Because uh, I don't think it'll blow fuses. I think the uh, wires are just short uh, and probably just quite ironically, we'll probably have a little fire. So uh, I will we'll investigate that now. So I'll go and get some tools. We'll take this front end off. So there's four bolts, Allen key bolts here. So I'll undo that one. Got their long bolts. Oh, a bit of sun. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. God, the other side of that. It's going on forever. Yay! It's one down. What I find quite interesting is that all the bolts on this thing are painted, so it must have had a paint job after it's been uh, bolted together, which is interesting.
later. going through the window seal here. as well. Well, I've got a new little pet in here. Right, so if you look at it from here, this side, internally here, there's nothing. So, I think, I think they're just clear the old. Ah, whoa, where did that go? Oh, it's disappeared. There you go, <laughs> take that one off as well. Drop that one on the floor. Watch me head. Close, and they took me head off with the door. Right, you know, there's one thing I'm interested in. Right, if somebody can let me know. These doors, yeah, when we're at the fire station, they stay open. Mine don't. So, I don't know why my doors won't stay open. It's like the, the latch has gone. It's really weird. But if somebody knows what's missing from my door, then uh, please let me know. Right, so take these two screws off now. Rain just seems to find its way in. I'm in my car at the moment, so I've got a swimming pool in the back passenger foot well, which is annoying. But uh, well, it's a VW, so it seems to be quite a common problem. So, oh, here we go. There's some more screws down here that I can't. There's some more down there. Oh, there's two more under there. Okay. Let's get to them. Oh, there's one. Oops, dropped it. There we go. There's one more. And there's one over that side. There we go. Nope. Oh, there we use it for a screwdriver. A bit more shorter. Right. Okay, so I've took the panel off now. It was running down this wire and it was dripping off the bottom of this connector. And I wonder, thinking about it now, I wonder whether it is coming in through these two holes there. It's just, maybe it's just gone too dry to even notice. So what I think I might do, we are expecting some more rain tomorrow, obviously. So what I might do is bung those holes up, clean this foot well out, uh, put that front panel back on and then see if it see if it leaks then but that's the only place I can see where it would be coming from so I think we try that, so we'll we'll fill that in. We'll fill it in as well with gasket sealant. So I'm just going to use some gasket sealant. <laughs> yes, I mean I ought to clean that up, but just for the elements of seeing if that's the problem. If I just do that, there we go, filled up. 
that ain't gonna go anywhere. If it stops the problem, it stops the problem, doesn't it? So we will see. But I am curious about this window. It just means a whole new seal, but apparently this window has been replaced once before by RAC, RAC auto windscreens. So I might ask him if, if they do the seal for this then. Because it probably could do with being repaired. And I'll get the ladder out actually. And I'll just check that seal up top. So that's been sealed up. As you can see, the holes oh, it's all gunged through this side. Lovely jubbly. We'll seal that up that side like that. Seal that up like that. Yes. Look at that, that ain't going anywhere now. And then these two holes, I doubt it was coming through them because that's where the screws went in. So, finish this up, carry on, put it all back together and get on with the next bit. Good old sponges. Oh, suck it all up, soap it all up. Yeah. Let's put this panel back on then. Let's walk connect the indicator. already go and subscribe because we've got loads more coming